Hello folks and welcome back to another chair chat on my YouTube channel folks. Hope you're doing well. Um, doing okay. Um, had a very interesting day. My wife does health care at people's homes and walked in on people trying to rob a client. So it's kind of very interesting and I'm like we got today off. Let's get the tree up. Let's get stuff done and running around the house. As much as I can with my myopathy on the ground, I go to Sam's and I buy like the little things of like like the little things of Tropicana OJ and you know a bunch of bulk stuff like that. You know, like the chips that way I can just throw them in my bag because where I work, I'm a chef, I cook, and I bring most of my own food, so I don't get cross contaminated or minimalize it because I have celiac disease and I ran into. The melt things barefoot, and if you can't see, I got a walking boot, cause I broke. I, I if this is my foot, like right here, like here, 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 I did like three cracks on these two. On my right foot, and I think I messed them up and cracked them again. I'm not sure, cause it's killing me. So I took some extra strength Tylenol. So I'm having a fun day, but, you know, my wife's safe and everything's good with that. So I'm doing all right. Because I was going to restring my, my acoustic, you know. Now I envy those. Because when, when I was always, like, when I when I saw, like, rock stars and stuff, like, yeah, it's just a boring life. Because, you know, you play for, like, 45 minutes. And then you have nothing to do for 20 years. See, I thought like as like like Rush or whatever. I thought like they got to the to the venue early and they set up their own stuff. And I thought that was the point of being the rock star with someone that loves to you know work on their guitars and string around. I didn't know they had like guitar techs and this is my guy and he strings all my guitars and does this and like I thought they did that and you know naive as me. And I was like yeah. That's why I guess that's why when I had my one to Jimbe, when I'm like, "Hey, you fix it. You you put a head on for me, Tony. I ain't doing it. I'm too tired. It's a pain in the butt." So I understand why they have someone that, you know, does all the guitar tech for them and does all that stuff. You know, because it's it's fun to play and screw around on them, but when you gotta restring them and you know, so polish them and. And it's fun to look at videos because there are videos to so see. You want to get a nice lemon oil for this type of, for like a rosewood fretboard and all this stuff and do all this. And then, then you'll find another guy saying, this is exactly 100 million percent why you never want to use an orange oil or rosewood oil or any type of, you know, you don't want to, you don't want to do this, you don't want to do that, you know. And there's one person that says, oh, if you're going to take like double O steel wool and, and like scrape down the frets. You want to tape off the fret so that you're not scratching other people's all. You don't have to worry about ink and the scratch enough. And you know it's it's funny when you'll find like one person that this is why you want to do this, and there's another person that'll say 100 the exact opposite. This why you don't want to do it. And you know my experience is just find what works for you. You know. <clears throat> Try because I've considered trying the the um, Ernie Ball paradigms, and I've had people. Oh, I played two gigs and my strings are shot. Because I don't know if it's just because it's an acoustic or not, but I love the Elixir Polywebs for the acoustic. I got four months out of this set, but I have electric strings with Polywebs. Elixirs that are two years old and I haven't had to change the strings. They still sound the way they do. And there's a video where Scott Grove has, like, th has Elixir Polyweb strung guitars that are 10 years old. They're incredible. So I don't know if they're, if it's just because it's a, I don't know. I've heard, though, you can shorten the life of those if you play a lot with a pick and, you know, because if you get the, if you tear up the coating and, but, 
It's just one of those things that um, I hate. Um, thank God I have this boot because it's saving me right now. This is the boot that I could buy for twenty nine ninety five that I was charged like two hundred and fifty five, and my insurance paid fifty bucks of that. So I was I was charged two hundred and five bucks for a boot that I could buy for, and I refused to pay on that until I got a letter from an attorney. And oh, it's so fun. That's what you know. Yeah, it's it's fun. But yeah, I'm just here, you know, kicking it. I just laugh at all my friends that complain because I'm very, very, I'm an American second. I'm a human first because I have friends that bitch about Donald Trump and this and that. And it's like, I just laugh. I'm like, okay, you're going to make fun of Trump for doing stuff that when Obama did it or Bill Clinton did it, you were praising him for doing the same thing. It's just funny. I love the hypocrisy of politics where they'll, well, let's praise Bill Clinton for wanting to build a wall, but now that Trump wants to do it, how dare he? That racist. It's ridiculous. You know, like I say, you know, you know, when you go to the store, this is how I look at stuff. Oh, I was $20. Well, actually, after theft, it was twenty two fifty. you know. Every state has a different theft level. I think it's 6% theft for everything you purchase. You might know it as a tax. I call it theft, you know. Because everyone's talked about... I, I think I can get this real quick and I'll probably get off. But one of my friends like, we need to get rid of the penny and just take and, you know, round up. So, like, if you have something and it's 23 cents, round it up to... Tw um, why round up? Why not round down? All these people are like, yeah, we, uh, we should get rid of the penny and round up on stuff. I'm like, why, why round up? Round down. You know, if it's 24 cents, round down to 20. I mean, that's only pennies. Okay, well, okay. Well, those pennies will add up. Because then I'll buy tons and tons and tons of things... In separate transactions. I'll go to the grocery store. I want these all in separate transactions. That way I can have them round down on every transaction. But then they would then they would find a way to make it so that no matter what, your bill comes out to your transaction would come out to like 21. But still, 21 times 100 items, that's a buck. It's a buck in my pocket. Hey. I'm the captain of common sense, folks. But yeah, thanks for tuning in to my channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe and talk to y'all later. Bye.